Hey there, Dad. Are you looking for easy ways to strengthen your bond with your kids? I get it. Life can be hectic, but connecting with your little ones doesn't have to be complicated. I have a free resource for you. 10 incredibly easy ways to connect with your kids today. Packed with simple, research-backed, practical tips, this guide will help you create meaningful moments with your children, even on the busiest of days. Head over to adventures.dad slash free download and get your hands on this invaluable resource today. Because the moments you share with your kids today will become the memories they cherish forever. Go to adventures.dad slash free download to get this free guide today. Today on the Dad Ventures podcast, we're diving headfirst into the wonderful world of play. At Dad Ventures, we take play seriously because play is such a powerful tool for bonding with and helping your kids grow. Not to mention, it can be a lot of fun. I'm your host, Aaron, at Dad of Four. Today, I'm going to share with you some science-backed insights from the American Academy of Pediatrics report called The Power of Play, which I'll link to in the show notes. We're going to uncover the secrets behind why play isn't merely fun and games. It's a crucial ingredient for your child's growth and development. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on future episodes. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please let me know by leaving a rating and review and sharing this along with one of your dad friends. Together, let's spread the joy of play. All right, dad, buckle up. Our journey into the power of play is about to begin. Play isn't just about fun and games. It's serious business when it comes to your child's development. Did you know that playtime isn't just a break from learning? It's a crucial part of it. According to The Power of Play, play is like a superfood for your child's brain, helping them develop everything from problem-solving skills to emotional intelligence. Let's break that down. When your kiddo is building a towering block castle or imagining themselves as a superhero, they're not just having fun. They're flexing their cognitive muscles. Playtime boosts creativity, problem-solving skills, and even helps with language development. You've probably seen this many times. I see it whenever I bust out the Dad Ventures deck with my kids. Their imagination goes wild. Once we had to tell silly stories while also giving a narration of the weather. And my 8-year-old still busts out his announcer voice and pretends to hold a microphone. Another time, my 5-year-old and I pulled the card that directed us to paint rocks but we couldn't find any paintbrushes. Well, my preschooler went into full-on problem-solving and experimentation mode as she tried to find a way to get paint onto the rock. She went from napkins wrapped around our fingers to leftover, and I hope unused, chopsticks to straight-up finger painting. I'd love to see her little brain start experimenting with different solutions as we were playing together. But it's not just about brain power. Play also lays the groundwork for social skills. Whether they're negotiating rules in a game of tag or sharing toys with friends, playtime teaches your child how to navigate social interactions and build relationships. Have you ever noticed your kids negotiating the rules of a game? Sometimes it seems they spend more time arguing over the rules than actually playing. However, that is the point. The debate and negotiation during playtime is so powerful. And let's not forget about the physical benefits. Running, jumping, and climbing during play not only keeps your little ones active and healthy, but also strengthens their muscles and bones. So, Dad, the next time you're tempted to brush off playtime as just another way to keep the kids busy, maybe off your back for a few minutes, or maybe you think you're too busy to play with them, remember, play will actually help them build a solid foundation for success in life. Now, getting into the playtime groove can be hard, especially since sometimes we've gotten too old and can't remember what it's like to be a kid. I have some practical tips for how you can start to bring the benefits of play into your parenting. Here are some powerful ways to level up your dad game through play. Number one, be present and engaged. When it's playtime, put away the distractions and be fully present with your kids. Put down that stupid phone. Show genuine interest in their games and let your inner child come out to play alongside them. In fact, I used to say when I was much younger, that you're never actually old unless you let the child inside of you die. So unleash that kid inside of you that just wants to play. Number two, embrace creativity. Break out of the mold and encourage your kids to get creative during playtime. Whether it's building a spaceship out of cardboard boxes or inventing silly stories together, let your imaginations run wild. Just go with the flow. You don't have to provide value judgments. 
just let the kids lead. I remember once we were watching a rocket launch from SpaceX, and then all of a sudden, all of my kids had pulled off all of the cushions off of the couch, and they were laying down as if they were astronauts shooting out into space. Something I would not have come up with, but they certainly did. Number three, make playtime a priority. For most dads, much of your time will be taken up by providing for the family or solving problems around the house or community. Because of that, it's easy to let playtime with the kids slip through the cracks. But remember, Dad, play is just as important as any other activity on your to-do list, and probably even more important. If you are really struggling with finding the time, then schedule it into your calendar. I promise you, you can find time. In my last few months of college, I was going to school full-time, and with all of my part-time jobs, I was also working the equivalent of a full-time job. The first week of classes, I was out of the house for 14 to 16 hours a day. But I realized if I just rearranged one or two activities, then suddenly I could be home with my wife and toddler for three meals a day. While still busy, I was able to make playtime with my daughter happen at least three times a day. I know dad life gets busy, but take a look at your schedule and deliberately block off time to have unstructured play with your kids. And finally, get moving. Break a sweat with your little ones by getting active together. Whether you're kicking a soccer ball in the backyard or going on a family bike ride, physical play not only keeps everyone healthy, but also strengthens your bond as a family. Honestly, this tip might come the easiest for you. I found that obstacle courses are an excellent playtime activity, especially with my boys, although my girls love them too. Inside or outside, we've made some elaborate obstacle courses in a lot of different places, even the green space outside our church building. It's amazing how much energy you can get out of boys when you just tell them, go touch every single tree that you see and run back to me. Playtime isn't just about entertaining your kids. It's about creating lasting memories and strengthening your relationship with them. So go ahead, get down on the floor or get outside and have some fun. Before we go, though, I want to dig even deeper with you and destroy some of the excuses or challenges that we dads often come up with that prevent us from playing with our kids. Number one, the time crunch. I spoke about this a little bit before, and trust me, I get it, life can be hectic. And finding time for play amidst work, chores, and other commitments can feel like a daunting task. But remember, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. Yeah, I know that's cliche, but it's actually true. Even just a few minutes of focused playtime each day can make a world of difference. Like I mentioned before, Just a few minutes during mealtime in my last semester of college had such compounding benefits for my family. So carve out those precious moments and make them count. Number two, the work-life balance. Balancing work and family life is no easy feat, but don't let your busy schedule become an excuse to skip out on playtime. Get creative with your time management, whether it's scheduling playdates during lunch breaks or turning everyday tasks into playful activities. There's always a way to sneak in some quality time with your kids. I have many fond memories of being a very young child and my dad wrestling on the floor with us while he was wearing a button-up shirt and a tie. I'm sure those were his work clothes, but he still got down on the floor on his knees and wrestled with us. Number three, money. You don't need fancy toys or expensive gadgets to have a blast with your kids. Sometimes all it takes is a little imagination and some household items to spark fun, like some rocks from the yard, some leftover chopsticks, and a bit of old paint, or maybe just the cushions of the couch. Don't let budget constraints hold you back from creating epic adventures with your little ones. Number four, sibling rivalry. Dealing with squabbles and sibling rivalry during playtime is par for the course in parenthood. I see this so many times. In fact, once my five-year-old and I were doing a dad venture from the Dad Ventures deck, where I had to play the part of a superhero who had many qualities, one of which was a fear of leaves. While my daughter and I played, my two boys picked up on my fear of leaves and took it upon themselves to be the evil leaf men and would constantly attack me with leaves. Well, my daughter didn't like this because she wanted her own playtime with daddy. So the sibling rivalry issue is real. But these moments can be turned to learning opportunities to help your kids learn conflict, resolution skills, and empathy. And in my case, self-restraint by inviting my boys to do something else besides attack dad with leaves. Lastly, struggling with screen time. In today's digital age, it's all too easy to fall into the trap of relying on screens for entertainment. 
While a little screen time now and then is okay, aim to balance it out with plenty of screen-free playtime. Set clear boundaries around screen use and encourage alternative activities that engage your child's imagination and creativity. Remember, Dad, overcoming these challenges is all part of the adventure of fatherhood. With a little creativity, perseverance, and a whole lot of love, you can overcome any obstacle that stands in your way and create magical moments with your kids that will last a lifetime. And hey, if you've got a success story or a clever workaround for one of these challenges, I would love to hear from you. Drop me a line and share your dad ventures with the community. You can email me using the email address Aaron at adventures.dad. And I'll put that in the show notes as well. I hope you've enjoyed this journey into the power of play and that you have a few ideas on how you can harness the power of play with your kids. From unlocking their cognitive potential to fostering social skills and promoting physical health, playtime is truly the secret sauce that transforms ordinary moments into extraordinary adventures. Embrace your inner child, dive into play with reckless abandon, and watch as your bond with your kids grows stronger with each laughter-filled moment. And hey, if you're looking for an extra boost of inspiration on your playtime adventures, head on over to store.adventures.dad and check out the Dadventures deck. With its curated collection of playful prompts and spontaneous activities, it's the perfect companion for making unforgettable memories with your kiddos. Thank you for joining me today on Dadventures. Until next time, stay curious, stay playful, and keep making those memories that will last a lifetime. And don't forget to visit store.adventures.dad to order your Dadventures deck today. On the Dad Ventures podcast, we are all about enabling you to make epic memories with your kids. But between the daily grind and whirlwind of life, having fun, easy, and epic ideas on engaging with your kids isn't always easy. As a dad, balancing the daily grind with fun, memorable moments with your little ones is challenging. That's why I turn to the Dad Ventures deck, a deck of dad cards and kid cards, where every dad card is a surprisingly simple, outrageously fun adventure for you to lead with your kids, and every kid card provides a spontaneous, silly twist to the adventure. Just the other day, I went on a bike ride with my five-year-old daughter. I took the role of Batman while she invented a new superhero, Rosie the Unicorn. That little adventure was a blast. You too can have outrageously fun adventures with your kids that lead to unbreakable bonds and epic memories. Right now, Dad Ventures listeners get 10% off their order when they use the code PODCAST at checkout. Go to store.adventures.dad and use the code PODCAST for your discount. Make epic memories with the Dad Ventures deck at store.adventures.dad, promo code PODCAST.